Hi, this is Sean. And this is Tim. All right, we got a problem here. I think it's an interesting problem involves, I think, so, oh, we'll really tap into your intuition here on, I think, different types of functions. Um, so Tim, why don't you read the problem and maybe give a starting point. So Maria currently has a collection of 58 stamps. If she buys S stamps each week for the next W weeks, which expression represents the total number of stamps she will have? From the first two sentences, we know that she's starting with 58 stamps and she's adding more to them. So we know that it can't be one because one deals purely with multiplication. So we know that if, so by the second sentence, if she buys S stamps each week for W weeks, that means every week she's going to buy S stamps for as long as W is. And so then the total number of stamps that she's buying will just simply be W times S. Right, total stamps is S times W, and I'm going to just build on that for a second. Um, I, I, for myself, when I, I'm given these variables, it's, it's a little weird at first to say S stamps and W weeks. So I guess a, um, an alternate way is to think in terms of numbers. Let's pretend she's getting 10 stamps, right, each one week. Well, and this is your rate, right? So it's 10 stamps per week. Well, in that case, if there was one week that passed, how many stamps did she have? What's the total stamps? And that's, I think what you're saying, Tim, you just multiply. Well, it's 10 stamps for, for hmm, no, I made a mistake. S stamps, not each week, but for each week. Let me fix that. All right, they say S stamps each week for W weeks. So here, let me fix the wording that might confuse people. It's not a rate, I guess. I was just saying it was a rate, but it's S stamps for W weeks. So here, if it's 10 stamps for one week, it's 10 times one, like Tim was saying, or 10 stamps. And you can imagine if, if it was 10 stamps for two weeks, well, you can just almost picture it, right? If it's 20 stamps, but what you're doing each time is multiplying the number of stamps by the amount of, of weeks. Um, and then I guess... What's our last step, Tim, now? We, we know total stamps equals S times W. Well, we know how many stamps she's buying, which is S times W, and we know how many she started out with. So it's just adding them, 58 plus S times W. Okay, it's there. I think our choice there is number, number two. I guess here, the you know again, I said for each week or each week. The, the rate here, I believe, is the number of stamps, right? Mm -hmm. if, that's, if you're thinking of this in terms of a linear function, y equals mx plus b. In that case, right right here, y equals mx plus b. This is something we start to get familiar with. m is your rate. Here, m corresponds to s because she's buying some amount of stamps for each week. And b is your starting point, I think. The y-intercept here is 58. Anything else on this one, Tim? All right, that's it for me. Okay, thanks.